Hi, Stabs here. Welcome to this YouTube channel. I'm super excited to have you join me in this tutorial. In this one, I want to show you how you can easily clone any website to WordPress. Regardless of whatever page reader you're using, whether you're using Elementor, Briggs, Gutenberg, whatever it is you're using, this will just be fine. And if you follow me for a while on this channel, you know that CloneWebEx is my go-to tool for cloning website. One of my favorite tools that I love this so much and they have a new update with the uh, uh, Gutenberg integration that literally allows you clone any website to any page builder whatsoever and this work like magic this is not anywhere like whatever I have done before so I really want you to follow me along this tutorial and let me show you exactly how to get that done so without further ado I think we should get started into these tutorials immediately so right on my screen here is clone webex so I will drop a link to clone webex in the video description you can check it out uh, if you come here you will see that you can clone any website to a page builder with a single click of a button you can check them fantastic fantastic uh, tool here and the amazing thing is that you can use it literally for free you can test it out even though it's quite very very limited i would always advise people to invest in their lifetime plan if you have the resources to because it's a fantastic tool so that's it for Clone Webex. You can check the video description for you to see a link here. Like I mentioned earlier, you can also check out for my coupon code if you want to invest in any of their pro plan. It's a fantastic thing for you to invest your money into. Once you create an account here, you make payment, you should have the opportunity for you to go to the app like you see here. It will bring you here where you see your project. If you're using it for the very first time, you will not have all of this project here. Because I use this tool, that's why I have all of this project here. Clone Webex is structured in a way whereby you clone websites in projects. So if you want to clone a particular website, that website is a project. So if regardless of how many pages that website is, you can clone all of those pages inside of one project. And that uh, is good for sorting things out here. Yeah? So what we want to do here is to create a project. So for the purpose of this example, I want us to just clone any random website. And this is me making a disclaimer that I'm just making this tutorial for educational purposes alone and nothing more than that. I am not encouraging you to clone people's website. I am doing this just for you to see how this would work. So this is a random uh, platform that sell WordPress theme. So let's scroll down. They have quite a number of themes here uh, that we can easily just uh, use for tutorial. I'm just looking at what would be fine. Okay, maybe I should work with a beauty product. You can see this. Oh, this is a beautiful, beautiful uh, landing page. Uh, for example, let's just work with this. So what I would do is that I'll just pick the URL here. And then I'll come back to Clone Webex. I'll just add a new project. I'll give this a name. I can just call this Outgrid. Call it whatever you want to call it. That's fine. And then I'll paste... Uh, the URL here and then I'll hit create a project project validation field okay I think I'll just have to take away these sub pages so yeah so I want to do the domain entirely so whatever page I'm using doesn't really matter so let's create this the next thing I want to do here is for me to add the uh, Chrome extension. You can see that here, add the page by using the Chrome extension. So once you click this, you'll be able to add the Chrome extension. But I already had it, the Chrome extension. It's here. So what I want to do right now is to go to the page that I want to clone. Uh, so this is it. So now I can launch the Chrome extension. And then I'll have to select the project. So this is the project here, Outgrid. And then I will just add this page. So we have a new page uh, loaded here and now we can see uh, the simulation of the page you want to clone already inside of Clone Webex. And I think this is beautiful. So we can scroll down so you can see this has simulated that page so well. So it has mirrored the page and now we can uh, convert this page to WordPress. So I think the first thing we can do is to come to this Clone Webex uh, box here. And the first thing here is for us to select what we want to clone on the page. But we're going to come back to that eventually. So let's focus on the page builder. You can see by default here we have Elementor. Uh, and you can see this work with Gutenberg, with Webflow, with Briggs, with Breakdance, and I think that's fantastic. But I want us to work with a Gutenberg right now because there's an update to that. And also, you can see that we ha now have this option here for export type. We can either go the selector 
or we can just go for the entire page. Uh, ideally, it's okay for you to clone the entire page if the pages are well designed, but sometimes you have designs that are very complex. Uh, this tool finds it very hard to clone the entire page. So I will always recommend that you clone this section by section. For example, uh, this can be a section. Uh, if you scroll down, this again can be another section. This can be another section. You can break that down. It will help you for easy cloning. Uh, you can see that we have a requirement here. It says that we should download the uh, uh, plugin. So once you click on this, this should download the plugin into a browser. And we can also reduce the DOM size. That's also a possibility. So if you do this and the design is not coming out well, you can also turn that off. You might be able to get something good. So I think this is good. So now let's come up here. Let's come to our selector. Since we're not going the entire page route, let's just work with uh, the selector. Uh, so right now I can uh, go with this first, but I'll just I ignore that first. Let me just come to the second one here. And then once I click on that, you can see this is the current selector and this is the parent selector. The parent selector basically is to clone the entire page, while the current selector is exactly what I have just selected. And what if you want to be sure exactly what you'll be uh, copying, you may want to toggle this. It will just uh, highlight exactly what wants to be colored. So you can see that that is gone. So that's exactly what we are going to be copying. So I will select this so you can see I have the CSS code here. And the next thing I want to do is just hit the export button. If you are using this for the very first time, Chrome can ask you to allow this uh, plugin to read your clipboard. So you can see here, this has been copied to clipboard. And the next thing we want to do is to come back to our WordPress website. So I have a default WordPress website here. And you can see I have Elementor installed here already. I prefer to use Elementor. But again, like I told you, we can use this <laughs> for any page builder. And I'll show you how this works. So the first thing we want to do inside of WordPress here is for us to install our Clone WebEx plugin. So let's come to Plugins. Let's come to Add New. And then let's upload the plugin. And then let me come to my download. This is the Softlight plugin here. So I'll drag that here. And then I'll install the plugin. All right, so let's activate this. So once this plugin is activated, now let's come to Pages. Let's come to Add New. So you may want to clone this to existing page. That's fine. But in my case here, I want to uh, add a new page. So I can just call this Dabs or call it whatever you want to call it is fine. And then I can paste whatever I've copied. And you can see I now have the design here. And I think this is amazing. Now let's even check what this look like in other device so you can see this is quite responsive even though i can see some alignment issues here but i think that's something that can be sorted out so you can see this is very also responsive on mobile device and i think this is beautiful so you don't need to break your head on trying to make uh, this page responsive so for you to continue this design you can just go back to clone webex and then we can come down here you may want to select uh, these two as well so let's click this and let's select this and so you can see that has been selected here and what we want to do is just hit the export button that has been copied to clipboard and i think that's beautiful so now let's come back here again uh, let's just control v that again so again, uh, we can see that that has been pasted here, and I think this is beautiful. So once you are done copying and pasting, you can just easily publish this page. We all know how Gutenberg work. And then just like that, we have our page ready, so I can just easily view this page. And you can see this is the page here, and I think this is super, super cool and amazing. Uh, so right now, let's say we want to use this inside of Elementor, inside of a DV or whatever page builder you're using whatsoever. So now let's come back to the back end. And if we come down here, we'll see uh, this plugin here. So from here, we can come down to blocks and templates. And then you can add a new template. So you can see this. I can call this template one. And then from here, I can just paste what I have already in clipboard. So you can see I have this here again. And what I can just do after doing this is to hit the publish button. So if I come back, now you can see that I have my template here. Now I have my short code here. So I can easily just copy this and then I can go to whatever page I have inside of Elementor. And then I can just easily add this to that page. Unfortunately, here I don't have an Elementor page already designed. So let's come to page. Let's add a new one. Let's just experiment with these and let's see what we can do. 
and I can edit this page with Elementor. I don't even want to give it any name. Okay, let's close this. So you, from here, you can see I can just search for short code. Then I can paste my short code here, and then I can publish this page. This is just for tutorial purpose, really. Uh, page is live, so I can just uh, view this page. So you can see this is now displayed inside of Elementor super simple and easily. Uh, you might be trying to work on maybe a complex design with your page builder. For example, you're using Elementor on your WordPress website and you're trying to clone it to Elementor and it's not working, it's not rendering well, the design is not accurate. Why not convert it to Elementor? Why not convert it to Gutenberg first and then display it on Elementor with a short code? And I think that's amazing. That gives you more option. That gives you more functionality. And I think this is a fantastic update from Chrome WebEx. And I'm loving this tool, every bit of it. So I think it's something you should try in, in case you're already using Chrome WebEx. If you're not using Chrome WebEx yet, I think you should give it a try. You can use this literally for free. And if you love it, then you can go ahead to pay for it. And I think that's fantastic. So what are you waiting for? I think you can give Gloom WebEx a try. And that's my time for this tutorial. If you find it very useful, give me a thumbs up. If you have any issues whatsoever trying this, you can let me know in the comment section. I'll look out for them. I'll see you in another tutorial. And until then, stay safe.